Hi, Daedalus again. We're here to reassemble our Starling V3 flat pack. Uh, and so we have all the pieces broken down. We'll find the rear frame. It has the serial number on it. And we'll find this piece that has the tension knob. And the tension knob lines up with this little locator here. And so we'll take this into the tube and just push it straight in. Same goes for the other tube. The tension anchor will go on the other side. And now all we have to do is put the face on. So we'll just slide the face on the tubes on the top. All right. Now we'll set it on a known flat surface to make sure that everything went together real square so we don't have to, it's not hiking a leg up or anything. So that's nice and flat. Now that we have it nice and flat, we're going to tighten the four bolts in the, in the corners here. So we have one back here. We don't want to over tighten these. They don't need to be like death grip tight. But you want to bring them down until these two pieces here kind of meet flush with each other. So you just kind of run a finger across that and feel. And I'd say that's perfect. And there's that one. Now we'll do the fronts. right and one left all right that's how simple the chassis goes together and so all that's left is to snap the motor mount on I just gotta line that pulley up sort of even with the face here it just clicks on and then uh, I'll go ahead and Put my belt around the motor pinion, set my flyer rear bearing there, get it inside there. Now we'll just lift up and we're all done.